The number one crime that you're seeing now is home invasions. Mm -hmm. Home invasions are probably the worst crimes. Because if you're not safe in the sanctity of your own home, Mm -hmm. where are you safe? If you've driven people to the brink where they're now... Because when I came to Trinidad, you had very few home invasions. Very few. In fact, so few. Um, Jeez, I can remember. Really, really. You know, it's... And that's where they were targeted. You know, it's a particular person, right. a particular thing. It wasn't just ubiquitous. Now, you're seeing it with these people like rubbing whole streets trying to, because the people are starving. And and which the, the, your point of when the government do certain things, whichever government it may be in power, when they do it, you have no choice but to criticize it. I've been trying to figure out for the past year or less than a year why are we removing the tax exemption on hybrid vehicles and then want to switch to pay any price any pump when from owning a hybrid vehicle i see i i could safely see there's about 50 percent savings in gas so when people had the opportunity to be saving I think if you want to remove the subsidy, or because uh, okay, if any subsidy government paying too much of the subsidy, then if you have cars that use less gas on the road, they will spend less money in the subsidy. Yep. Right? And why 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 you stop that? Why why not? Just like I think I, I don't know if England has that. I know for sure, and I think they do. Why not the US has something in place where if you buy an electric vehicle, Tesla for example. You know, you get some sort of rebate, some tax yeah, refund. England, England, Eng- England has it as well. Yeah, they're also talking in terms of pay as you go now, mm-hmm. in terms of carbon emissions. That's that's what England mm-hmm. they're muting that now because this whole transition to renewable energy is what they're speaking about. But it's ill conceived because they don't have a global approach to it. This ad hoc. Mm-hmm actually isn't working there's a very interesting documentary on that that um, if you get the time you should look at and you'll see that in the one hand they're saying it's renewable energy but in order to attain it yes the kind of damage they're doing to the environment mitigates entirely against the whole notion Mm -hmm. but people don't know that you know it's it's green okay burn down half a rainforest to make the parts for it Mm -hmm. but (laughs) it's green so, no, I don't, it's ill-conceived. It's, it's the whole approach that the government has, this ad hoc um, approach, is if you just sit back and look at it, it, to me, instead of promoting good business so that people are encouraged to invest in businesses, uh, develop businesses, encourage spending, and in order to encourage spending, you have to offer people good employment with, um, I think, a, a wage that is commensurate with the work that they do. So you raise the whole standard of um, community, the whole society comes up. They're not doing that. They're using legislation as a in view, in sorry, revenue uh, um, fest, if I call it that, because anything they can bill you for, for they are. And legislation that's pre-existing they're hiking up these fines astronomically. Prisons are overcrowded. People are not going to be able to afford to pay it. So you're going to lock them up for non-made payment and you will criminalise people who initially you didn't think were meritous of a custodial sentence, but it's a custodial sentence through the back door. Because if I have a choice between putting food on the table or paying my fine, Am I going to pay my fine or am I going to sit down and listen to the, um, a nagging wife remind you of, <laughs> of your shortcomings mm. and the screaming children um, running around half naked because you can't afford to feed them or clothe them or you're going to pay your fine? You know, you're on your way to jail because, you know, you're going to put food on the table. Mm. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. i to take one for the team. Yeah. Yeah. But mm. then... I, I could forgive a man all day long who prioritises his family. Because if you don't look after your family, who will? You, you, do you really want to create this nanny state? Just up the road, that social welfare building. I watched that queue grow 
with it's 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 a sad state of affairs. It's a terrible state of affairs because you're not looking at people who don't want to work. Mm -hmm. You're looking at people that as a government, you are not allowing to work. And then you want to um, penalize them with this raft of legislation and these fines when these people can ill afford to eat or clothe themselves. That, to me, is a, a borderline um, genocide, genocide or um, tyrannical type of behavior. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, and again, people are just so accepting of it. And that is what confusing me. I mean, I try to push back, but people, I, I don't know, some people, they just give up. They just, for whatever reason. No, you, if you put people in a state of fear, that fight or flight mindset doesn't allow analytical dialogue within yourself. You don't really have that reasoning because you're thinking, geez, do I run or do I find? Mm. He's put the fear of God in people. And when I say he, that will be our illustrious prime minister. People are afraid. And when people are afraid, they're easy to manipulate mm -hmm. and they surrender their civil liberties. Mm 